night shift. All was silent in the restaurant. No sound was made or heard. The whole place was a mess. Tables overturned, floor filthy, stained walls. It was the very definition of a madhouse. Except the silence seemed to keep everything at bay. Like a photo frozen in time, no living creature, be it man or beast, dared to enter the lair. Ex well, except for one idiot. A hundred and fifty, hundred and twenty dollars a week? For looking after a graveyard? Sold! The idiot was named Kieran. He was a human. Unless you hadn't guessed. And, and desperate for a job. The skinny teenager with night black hair and freckled face already worked at a local supermarket during the day. But that wasn't enough to pay for his little sister's school tuition. So, he needed a night job, or shift in this case, as he had been hired by the Fez Fazbear Company. The moment he had picked up the phone, it was 11.50, and he just entered the building, shattering the peaceful slumber. Fazbear's company, the moment... Wait. Oh, this is so cool. I get to stay up all night like a grown-up. See what I mean when I... He said he was an idiot? Now, where's the office? He pondered out loud, unaware of the hidden ears. After about six full minutes of searching, he eventually found the office. It instantly reminded him of his room, messy and smelling of cheese. The walls were covered in children's drawings and cobweb. The table held on multiple TVs that refused to turn on, a desktop fan that was already on. It also held rubbish and empty drinks, nothing interesting him, so he sat back on his chair and relaxed. Ring, ring. He almost had a heart attack as the phone went off. Slightly pissed, he answered it in a polite voice. The one he used to convince his mom that he had didn't clean the dishes. Hello? Who is this? He asked the user. Hello, hello. Um, I wanted to record a message for you to help you settle in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in the office before you. I'm finishing up my last week. Now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll be fine, so let's just focus on you getting you through your first week, okay? It took a second before Kieran realized that he was recorded. He... By then, he just laid back and listened to the message. Uh, let's see. First, there's an introduction greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. Uh, it's kind of a legal deal, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear Pizza's, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike. Where fantasy and fun comes to life, Freddy Fazbear is not responsible for damage pro to property or person upon discovering... That magic or death has occurred, a missing persons report will be filed within 90 days or so as soon as property and premise have been thoroughly searched and cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been re replaced. Uh, boring, he thought, vaguely listening. Blah, 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 blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Um, the animatronic creatures here do get a bit quirky at night, but I do blame... But do you blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those super, same stupid songs for 20 years, I'd never get a bath. I never got a bath. I'd probably be a bit irritated at night, too. So remember, these creatures hold a special place in the heart of children, and we need to show them respect. Right? Okay. Kieran then decided... 
that he'd listened to music. He pulled his MP3 and plugged the headphones in, only to notice that the table on the side picked it up and turned it on. It showed a picture of three robots, a purple rabbit, a yellow duck, a yellow chicken holding a cupcake, and Freddy, unimpressed, he attempted to sign out and go online, but the device refused. After a few mo attempts, he gave up and just laid back, closing his eyes, and fell asleep. <sighs> the weird sound all around him failed to wake him up. The giggling and singing all failed. The only thing that did work was the sensation of falling. Kieran woke up on the floor, dazed and confused. He looked around and locked eyes with one of the robots. It was the rabbit, far creepier in person. It was filthy and smelled as bad as the room. Its guitar from before was missing as well as his eyebrows. The only thing that helped to make him scarier, it held the chair that Kieran was sleeping on. Still annoyed at being woken up, he got up and stamped over to the robot and gave it a piece of his mind. Oi! Listen here, you, you plastic dildo! I work all day and I'm exhausted. I just wanted to rest a bit. So what's the big deal with the chair? Huh? Kieran hoped. Hopped. Like a spoiled child demanding sweets. But Bonnie just stood there, looking at him with mild annoyance. He looked up to see Chica coming up at behind the brat. It's not like I'll, you'll ever get a chance to meet someone as great as her. I mean, she's so perfect. Freddy came up behind Bonnie and Foxy walked hungrily behind the chicken as she almost smirked at the ob oblivious humans. And another sang you. Oh, you're all here. Why are you looking at me like that? All the animatronics now had black eyes with a single dot in the center. Their mouths were dripping with black ooze and the cheese smell from before had been replaced by the smell of death. The human started to feel nervous and scared. He was going to utter an empty threat to the machine, but what? But was stopped when his arms, Bonnie, wrapped around his throat and began to choke him. Chica approached and pulled his legs, Foxy doing the same for the other leg. Foxy, Freddy grabbed his left arm and torso. They dragged their victim out of the office into the storage room. Kieran attempted and failed to scream and get away. He had started to cry panic. The four of them pinned him down before Freddy went and got him an animatronic head of Chica. The last thing Kieran saw was the mask pressed up against his head. Hey guys, uh, this is Wolf Titan. Well, I'm here to give you a little bit of announcement. Uh, pretty soon, yes, we'll be returning back to the ponies. I just figured I'd try something a little bit different. I hope you guys enjoyed the new story. And I want to thank those who have come up and basically subscribed to my channel. I'm almost 100, and I'm feeling rather excited for that. Uh, I hope to, uh, you guys bring me some new stories and material that you guys might want to listen to, because, like I said, I want to make you guys happy in some ways and bring you entertainment. And I appreciate all you've done and taken the time to look at my channel. Let's see if we can get up to 100, maybe 200 soon. I believe in you guys, and you guys have an excellent day. This is Wolf Titan, signing out, and... Have a Merry Christmas.